Right, we're off to Thorpe Lodge. Heavy ground at Thorpe Lodge. A two mile three handicap hunter chase. Race 33 on the card. Nought 110. One is nothing fancy. Martin Needham, Ozak Fizz, Vinnie Gerard, Caulfield, Alex Cherry, Wondesta Fable, Darren French, Storm Crow, Patrick Hogan. One of these times is now. Obi Wan, Titch Jazz, Alex Cherry, Right Stuff, Obi Wan, and the victim, Stu Gray. Nine horses in this hunter chase. Nice, decent size field. Four hunter chase. And away they go, and quickly away, nothing fancy for Martin Liedem. On the outside of that is one of these times is now. Then comes Bright Stuff, followed by Wondesta Fable on the rail for Darren French. Followed, then comes Ozak Fizz with Caulfield on the inside of Ozak Fizz, followed by Titch Jazz. Then comes Storm Crow and the victim at the back of the field for Stu Gray. So it's Obi-Wan 1, 1 and 2, as per normal it seems. And a slow jump there by Bright Stuff, and one of these times is now leads from in second Caulfield. Then comes Ozak Fizz on the outside. On the outside of that is Storm Crow for Padre Kogan. Uh, Bright Stuff has dropped back a few places off that slow jump. Then comes Titch Jazz for Alex Cherry. The red colours on the inside of that is Nothing Fancy. The grey colours on the inside of that is Wondesta Fable for Darren French and the victim in the back colours at the back of the field. They jump the next. And one of these times is now a slightly slow and Caulfield has come up on that one's inside. Then comes Ozak Fizz for Vinnie Gerard. Bright Stuff on that one's inside. Storm Crow out wide. The red colours on the inside. Nothing Fancy for Martin Leadham. And whoa, that was a weird... Something weird happened there, but anyway, back on track now as one of these times is now leads from Caulfield up on the inside and the orange cleaves and orange cap. The yellow colours on that one's answer is bright stuff, the stable companion of the leader. On the red colours on the inside, nothing fancy. That's Martin Leadham's horse. The green colours, Isaac first will be Vinny Gerard's horse. On the outside is Storm Crow, that's uh, Patrick Hogan's. Then the orange cleaves orange cap, the second of the Alex Cherry horses, Titch Jazz. The black colours at the back is the victim. And on the inside of that, one desk, the fable, Dan and French. That should really be the favourite for this uh, most likely winner as a jump the next as one of these times is now the leader from bright stuff in second northern Fa nothing fancy is in third on the outside of nothing fancy is titch jazz storm crow out wide in between horses one desta fable then comes the victim who's moved past ozak fizz has dropped to the back of the field and caulfield who was up in the lead at one stage has gone right back to the through the field to drop, be lost at this stage so one of these times is now leads here with 10 furlongs left to travel, from in second, Bright Stuff. Then comes Titch Jazz for Alex Cherry in third. A bad mistake on the inside, but nothing fancy. Storm Crow has now moved up into fourth. Wondesta Fable is just behind these. They pass the winning post. They head off on their final circuit. Nine furlongs left to travel. Uh, behind Wondesta Fable is the victim. On the outside of the victim is Ozak Fizz in those green colours. And Caulfield, who was up in the lead at one stage, just at the back of the field. So one of these times is now the leader for OB1 from Stable Companion Bright Stuff in second. Then comes Titch Jazz in third. On the rail is nothing fancy. Wondesta Fable is going well in fifth. So too Storm Crow on the outside for Padre Gogan. A bad mistake at the back bar. Caulfield. Um, the victim just ahead of that and ahead of the victim is Ozak Fizz. So one of those times is now with about seven furlongs left to travel. Leads from Titch Jazz in second. Then comes nothing fancy on the inside of Bright Stuff. Wondesta Fable behind us. Ozak Fizz on the outside of that trying to get going now storm crow then comes the victim at the back of the field is still caulfield and one of those times is now still leads but nothing fancy on the inside he's traveling strongly yeah comes one desta fable going powerfully for darren french it's one of these times is now from nothing fancy one desta fell moving up into third then comes titch jazz ozek fizz behind this bright stuff behind that uh, struggling now storm crow caulfield and also the victim as one of those times is now leads from nothing fancy who's traveling really well in second one desta fell has been pushed along but also going well in third. Uh, running on now is uh, Storm Crow on the outside and also trying to get going is Titch Jazz. One of those times is now. He's leading from nothing fancy in second. Then comes one Desta Fable. Titch Jazz behind there. Trying to run on from the back is the victim. One of those times is now. He's been passed now by nothing fancy up the inside. Here comes the victim from the back of the field with Ozak first. It's one nothing fancy in the front with two phones left to travel. One of those times is now. Well it's not going to be now. Uh, here comes Ozak Fuzz on the outside, the victim is trying to run on. One of these times is now is coming back to the front, but jumps it slowly. Ozak Fuzz also running on is the victim. It's uh, in front, nothing fancy from one of these times is now. Ozak Fuzz, the victim between horses. Four in the last of chance here. The victim in between horses, and it's Stu Grace. The victim comes to the last and jumps it well. And the victim is going to win for Stu Grace. Come from the back of the field, and the victim wins from Ozak Fuzz in second. Nothing fancy was third. One Desta Fable, I think, was fourth. 
And I'm not sure it was fifth. Stu Gray from last to first for the victim who wins from Ozak first. Nothing fancy was third. I think one of these times is now might have held on for fourth. Yes, it did. And in fifth was one Desta Fable. Those are the first five, the ones that collect some prize money. But a 66 to 1 winner for Stu Gray with the victim.